2024 in the game barn is going to be a crazy year, and today is no exception. Um, Matt, right now, is working on shipping yesterday's whatnot auction, so we're doing like three auctions a week, right, Matt? Uh, yes. Yes, and uh, yesterday's auction is being shipped. We actually already sent off like half the packages right after the show yesterday, but there's still a lot more. We sold a ton of controllers from Pallets, and that's going to be something that we're going to be doing more of today. Al Pal, looks like you are sealing deals. I'm trying. Trying. <laughs> We need, we need to get some deals sealed because we have a giant auction coming up. So definitely try to make some stuff happen there. A lot of offers. There's a lot. Of, There's a lot going on right now. That's good. So if you guys have a collection to sell, email us at caterpiecrew.com or um, the email is caterpiecrew at gmail.com if you just want to go straight to email. But really, if you go to caterpiecrew.com, you can fill out the form, enter your price charting information, the asking price, and everything. That'll expedite the process if you already have things documented. And those are the collections that Alpel can get to the quickest. So that's going to be the best way to make a deal happen. Uh, we're, paying, we're paying pretty well on stuff right now. We want collections in. Um, so that's part of what's happening. I need to get some stuff sold today because if we're buying this much, I at least want to try to sell as much as we're buying right now. Though we are building to a big whatnot show where the sales from that kind of cover everything, but I at least want to do like a break even. And brother Dave, you got to go to the P.O. box. I got to take this trash out. Take the trash out, P.O. box, and hopefully you come back with some good games. Stuff. Yes, I hope so. All right. Let's get later. to it. So there's going to be four main goals today. One of them is to get at least 100 of these controllers, headsets, and all of this stuff tested that we got from pallets last week. These are return pallets and lots and lots of controllers. I wanna get 100 tested. So, Matt, you got it? 100. 100. He's good with it. And he's building a shelf so that we can put them on something when they sell, which is fantastic. Alpal, I do wanna get some sales and I'm hoping that the sales can match at least how much money we have outgoing. Okay. Um, and so show me the eBay sales eBay sales. Hodgepodge of everything. Two Jack games, weirdly enough. Same buyer or different? Different buyer. Different buyer. Well, we'd get like 80 bucks and... 40 maybe? 80 and 40-ish. Both sealed, I both can, minty yeah. from Minty to White. <laughs> this thing. Hey, we had oh. that for like two and a half years. Yeah. It sold for eight bucks. I think it's like seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> uh, magnetic mics, yeah. uh, 40 a piece. These, These are speaker uh, mics. Uh, I can't 45 remember. maybe? It's like 130 some for the three of them. Okay, so about 45 a piece there. Um, this is actually a good sale. This Lego set nice. for 170. Nice. Yeah. And then these dreaded a lot like, of four cocktail plates. Had those forever and they sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. But they've been here since before you started. Yeah, before I started. Yeah. Which was like at least two years. Yeah. <laughs> long, <laughs> long time. Um, that's good. That's 650 bucks in sales. Count it. Boom. We officially have more in sales than what we bought today, but Brother Dave will probably be bringing back a All lot. Right, so yeah. that might change. And the other thing I want to keep track of and set a goal for is deals. Basically, like price charting value of deals that like are done or completed today and on the way. Okay. So if you seal any deals, I, I want to know about it. I did just seal one. You did? It's on the way. Shoot. Okay. What's the price charting on it? It's like 6800 6800 count it and this is this is a surprise for me yeah, i you don't know what it is. i know what we're paying and i know what the price starting value is i don't know what's inside of it correct so it'll be a very fun unboxing when it yes. comes but yeah there you go 6800 in price starting sealed and hopefully you can get a few more sealed i know we've got a lot in the inbox and then matt will eventually get to testing controllers after this is built so that this can be fully together this is our whatnot system for putting games in but we have a lot of controllers right now and they don't fit so we need another shelf to go like right here so that we can put controllers on it. <laughs> well, Brother Dave just arrived back and we have seven packages at the P.O. Box. These are all actually from the same person. Um, I covered shipping on this, so that's part of the expense for me. But with, with all, all in, it's about $750 by cost on my end. So officially, we're 100 in the negative from what we've purchased and what we have sold. All of these boxes, I'm gonna go ahead, unbox them, we'll get them laid out so we can look at exactly what we have here 
and how we're going to work at getting this stuff sold. And hopefully we can add some stuff to the big whatnot shelf, which is another big part of what I want to grow throughout every day as we prepare for the January 19th giant whatnot. Information of our whatnot will be down below if you want $15 credit. I want to thank our channel sponsor, XYAB. They're the number one supplier of video game accessories for video game sellers. So they are a business to business um, accessory distributor. They're my favorite. I am disgusted that I didn't know about them for years before I knew about them because they have the best price, the best quality, and they have like next day shipping on all of their stuff on their website. Things that we order from them for our business. Game Boy batteries. Every time we get a uh, Pokemon game in or any b game that needs a save battery replaced, we'll replace it and we'll maximize the sales. Their batteries are great, they're cheap. I love them, they're fantastic. That's just one thing. Other things that we order from XYAB, we have dozens of different items. But really to uh, maximize your console sales, that's the number one way that I like to use them. So like N64 covers, they have a lot of. They have N64 jumper packs right there for a really good price. They've got any AV cable, any power cord, anything that you could possibly imagine for any system. You know, like just open any, any drawer. We've got XYAB stuff, but controller battery covers. You know, here's power cables, GameCube stuff, HDMI, I think you can get HDMI cables. Like, you can get everything from XYAB, you're gonna get it next day. So even if you are bad at keeping records of what you need, like I can be, you can just order it from them and you'll have it in like two days. So it's pretty fantastic to maximize your sale. If you're not using XYAB, check out our link down below, $50 off your first order of 100 or more. And uh, it'll help us out and you will not regret it. But now, let's get back to the video. So again, this deal was trade plus cash. And what I just realized here is that only seven of the nine packages actually got here. So we have two more small boxes that'll have like cartridge games and stuff as part of it, and it's $750. But I do have the question as I see this unbox, like, is this type of deal worth it? Um, it's very processing intensive. So all of these discs, are gonna have to be checked. And like in this case, absolutely needs to be resurfaced. I'm gonna guess that a lot of these will need to go through our Echo Master machine. Thankfully, we have the Echo Master, which cleans 50 at a time. Uh, it takes, you know, anywhere from four to six hours in general to clean 50 discs. Uh, but yeah, it is the very processing intensive, you know, lower out average value per item type of deal. There is margin in it but is putting our time into it worth it. I think once those cartridge games come through, it'll, it'll come together a little bit better, and those will probably be here tomorrow. Um, and I'll feel a little bit better about it. If I can get my, some of my money back very, very quickly, at least a good chunk of it, and then kind of take time processing the rest of it, those are the kinds of deals that I like. Um, so we're gonna have to go through this stuff a little bit, but really uh, we need to check in on how Matt's doing because that's kind of top priority is getting these headphones and controllers ready. What you're doing headphones right now? Trying to. Trying. I, I was worried about how these would go, testing wise. So is, is there a way so to I test these? The Steel it's supposed to work on PC. Okay. But I just don't know how to like set it up. Yeah, we've never apparently. we've never done it. Um, like it doesn't want to power on it. T Which currently you're on gamepad tester and you're on the mic tester portion yeah. of it. So I don't know if this needs to run through here and then to the PC. I just mm -hmm. I don't know. And these were all customer returns. And usually what we found is about 90% of the controllers so far have worked with no problems and basically haven't been used. We're hoping that's the case on all these headphones, but we have to test them if we're going to sell them as tested, obviously, um, which is the current plan. And if it takes a ton of time, this pallet thing becomes less and less worth it. So we were testing about 24 controllers an hour um, yesterday. The question is, can we keep that level of output up with the headphones? Because we actually have potential to seal more deals on these pallets, basically as much as we could possibly get. Um, we've made some connections behind the scenes. We're getting them for a good price um, to the point that it's worth it as long as we can test quickly. So. That's where we're at there. Um, and then this deal is kind of still in, in limbo since I need two more of the boxes. I won't be able to get them paid quite yet. But I have a couple of deals that I'm working behind the scenes. So um, sometimes people will message me on Discord, Facebook, Instagram. And 
you know, I'll make better deals there through like PayPal or Venmo or whatever because fees are much less or zero in some cases. So I'm trying to sell Pokemon Yellow sealed, which the box has a little bit of wear, but overall decent condition. And the offer is 1500 bucks. And I think it's fair. I think it's fair for them. I think it's fair for us. And I'm trying to get that sold. Maybe some of the Castlevanias and some of the other sealed games. There's a lot of people interested since that video came out somewhat recently on the main channel. Um, so I'm hoping to get some of that stuff sold and we have some giant collections um, that we've made deals on in days previous that will be tens of thousands of dollars. Um, so I really want to have a lot more in sales than purchases today because we're going to have to make up for some of that, some of these big purchases coming in. Um, so I want to get a ton sold and we got to start making some of that happen. How's that one working? I, it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> very, very broken. Yeah. That was returned for a reason, and that was a uh, Turtle Beach of some kind. Yep. Probably would have been nice. But you did get one working. Where's that one that you got working? Oh, I put it over there. Over here. Yeah. Right there. Logitech A10. Works great. That was wired and super easy to test. You used Gamepad Tester? Yep. The mic tester? Mm -hmm. So, again, Gamepad Tester, good website. It's free. We're using it for testing controllers and... Yep wired headphones the other ones you've realized maybe they just are completely dead yeah. and need to be charging so like the steel is this steel series here mm -hmm. okay All right. what about this one still in the box that looks yeah, nice right here that looks really holy cow that looks really it's nice. really comfortable yeah and then so these are really expensive so we're hoping that these end up working um we got that one charging too mm -hmm. so to be reported on those soon we're going to try to get about 25 headphones tested and 75 controllers so that's the goal well so far the hit rate on headphones is terrible this is the fifth the fifth one oh, like okay. the hit rate like people hit them in anger uh, and destroy them and then return them that's <laughs> what we call return fraud yeah very bad don't do this people that is own up to the fact that you destroyed your headphones my goodness uh that's crazy so we have two that have worked and i think you've thrown away like this is the fifth one five so you're two for seven right now yeah that's rough and there's three charging at least the three, nice so, ones aren't yeah really the, so far the nice ones look good and if we, if we get a lot of nice ones it's worth it but these ones are kind of on the cheaper end and just not working yeah. or totally broken so bummer we do have a ton of loose ones in this box too so mm -hmm. hopefully we have some of the boxes for these as you are setting them aside Alpel's got something in the works over here, and we'll talk about it. And Brother Dave is testing controllers. Yes. So the ones that require an actual Nintendo Switch. These ones work. These work. I'll add them to my shelf. We, we had a hard time selling these in our last auction, so one improvement is building this shelf, and we're just going to put it right behind us and then put them on the top as they sell. And in theory, one of these will open up as we sell them. These ones are really cool. Brother Dave, that is how'd the they feel? Third yeah, that's the I've ever seen. It actually lights up those little colors. That's up. legit. I yeah. like that. Cool. I think those will those will do quite well. And three uh, for eight. Three, three for eight. All right. Getting better. Getting better. Is that is that a wired one? No, it, no. Instead, no, no. no it's we were two, we were two for seven. So now we're oh, two for eight. No, I was three for seven. Now I'm. Where's the third one that's working? Or, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> two for it's eight. It's up there. 25%. I did have three. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're three for eight. Now you're three for nine. Yeah. One third. That's bad. That's bad. Controllers are like 90% working. So, so far we really like controllers and we don't like headphones. Well, it is a couple hours later in the day and we have tested a bunch of stuff, including Matt has gotten to every single box headphones. If you look behind me, these tables are looking quite a lot different, which is satisfying to see. The final report, Matt, is, was it 28 out of 52 worked? Yep. 28 out of 52 headphones worked um, or were salvageable, <laughs> yeah. which we were able to like find piece together pieces and cords and, and get them good to go. Um, thankful that you could test them easily. Uh, that worked out pretty well, but definitely more time consuming than controllers. There were like four Steel Series headphones, which are like 250 bucks a piece. So that is, that is a huge win um, and kind of makes the headphone process worthwhile. So everything behind me here is ready for tomorrow's auction, which is awesome. It's 85 items fully ready to go. Tested, good. I didn't even count these new ones, so 89. The goal was 100, so we're, we're almost there. And actually, if you count the steering wheel for PS5, 
which is like pristine. That puts us at 90. So 10 more to go. Um, Alpal, did you steal any more deals or get any more on the way? I think you said I one. Have, I have a very small one. It's like worth like What's the price 1600 on it? Well, 1600 yeah. another another deal sealed 1600 value um but it sounds like it'll just be like everyday type of stuff nothing too crazy and then brother dave has been working at the stuff that's just harder to test <laughs> I'm which, really struggling which is a, a frustrating <laughs> frustrating journey um, i don't even know how to get this stupid thing open i believe in you this is ridiculous give it to matt he'll figure it out uh, that's what i do you, you slide it <laughs> oh um, and what I want to do is get this table ready to easily run things at an auction, um, things that we have a quantity of. If we have like 10 fusion controllers, I'll just have one opened and ready to show for the auction because they're all like pristine condition and fully complete if we passed them through. So I might as well just have one unboxed and ready to go to expedite the auction process <laughs> on whatnot. Um, we still have everything here to go and everything here to go. And then multiple boxes, like there's two there, one down there. So a ton of stuff. We're getting to this, which has a lot of extra cables and stuff, which is really nice. Uh, but we're going to start doing some of the loose stuff and mixing in some of that stuff, just so that we're not selling all the best stuff first. Uh, we want to mix in some of the lower tier stuff, just so that in every auction there's hype and awesome pieces. So that's where we're at. It's been a day. And I do also have another massive update. Pokemon Yellow is gone. Sold it direct for 1500 bucks. So that is official. I've got payment. We're gonna get this thing shipped out, insured, ready to go. I'll sell it with the acrylic case because obviously that's a beautiful piece right there. Sealed Pokemon Yellow is going to a new home. So our sales increased by 1500 bucks, which is fantastic. Um, definitely need to continue getting the sales rolling. I have a lot of potential buyers here, but still nothing panning out people are busy uh with the new year and stuff so that's where we're at we're gonna see what our final uh count can be for prepared controllers i'm gonna get it feeling nice and clean in here and then we'll go from there we were tracking four main things for the day deals incoming price charting value was one of them and i just sealed another deal for some pokemon cards vintage pokemon card collection probably valued around 800 bucks um so between the two deals al pal sealed at 6800 1600 and price charting value that brings the total to 9,200, which is fantastic. Uh, good amount of deals made today. So thank you guys to those of you that sold stuff to us. We appreciate it. Um, sales today, 650 bucks on eBay, and then $1,500 private sale on Pokemon for a total of 2,150 in sales. And we've been prepping quite a lot for our big whatnot, so sales tomorrow will certainly be higher. Uh, but we got 130 controllers or headsets tested, cleaned, fully ready to go. I think it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. I was hoping like just Matt would be able to test that many today, but it kind of took a full team effort, at least off and on for part of the day. But they're ready and we're gonna have a great whatnot auction tomorrow. And then the amount actually purchased was that table over there, $750, still awaiting the next two boxes. But this stuff here, the vast majority of it will be probably sold on Amazon and then some stuff will be pulled for whatnot, but we kind of have to get to that another day because tomorrow our auction starts pretty early in the morning and we got to be ready in the morning to go. Uh, so subscribe for more back-end content like this. If you guys are interested in running a business and how we run our business, that's what we're going to be doing over here, stuff like this. So if you liked it, come back for more, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.